Hello, this is Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead. Uh, as I said the other day, I am not using the trout that um, I canned up, so I'm going to now. So, I should have got everything ready beforehand. I haven't, usual me. I always use a plastic knife for these tack lids. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Good seal. And it smells absolutely lovely. So, in it goes. when I can this up I didn't put in uh, any extra juice this is all the juice that's made itself just look at that it looks and smells like some pink some I don't think one jar is going to be enough so I'm going to mix two. Good seal on that one as well. I'm not sure if I'll need all the juice, so I've poured this one off. Now there is skin in there, not much, and bones, but it was pressure canned so. It's made them really, <laughs> really soft. So all I'm doing is the salt. I've got here some peppers I froze and sweet corn that have been frozen. So they're going in as well. Uh, I've also got fully defrosted frozen spinach. So that's going to be nice and healthy. And an egg. I haven't got used to the fact of <coughs> the eggs look anemic compared to mine. And I've got some breadcrumbs as well. So and we are. Mix it all together. Mm, there's more here than I thought. Oh well. More breadcrumbs, I think. I've watched other people doing them, and as you know me by now, I don't follow recipes, I just bung it in. So, doing this for the first time on camera means that if it works out alright, I can look at exactly how I did it and where I put it in it. And if it works out rubbish, I can look at it and see what I put in it and did to it. And that's basically it. You just now form it. I think you've seen me using my thing before. Let's go spoon. And just place it in.
and there is one. And I'll fry them up and we'll have them for tea with some other things out of my pantry. Uh, frozen cauliflower and sprouts but they've now defrosted. Sprouts did come out my garden and a jar of potatoes, carrots and beans. So that would make a nice change for us. So I'll get all this uh, lot cooking, fry up these trout burgers might make us a bit of a cheese sauce with it. Hmm, don't know yet. I've now got any, everything I'm cooking for tea. It's quick, easy, but using a lot of pans up. So basically, I put a piece of sweet corn in there to make sure the oil is hot enough. And I'm just placing them in there. And let them brown up. Fell apart on me. Never mind. Well, this one's falling apart as well. Oh well, they might end up as one big pie. <laughs> I'll put together. And I've still got one more to put in. Hold it better, together better. And just leave them settling in the way. And while that's doing, I've got my frozen cauliflower and sprouts, my potatoes, carrots and beans, and I've got no milk in, but I have got kefir milk. So I'm going to have a go to cheese sauce with kefir milk. Not on the way it tastes, but on the way they have um, not held together too well. I think I'll add another egg to it next time. And every time I turn them, they fall into bits. So I'm not going to bother turning them again. I should just put them on the plates. Oops. Well, that egg fell, it must because it wants to be eaten. Mm. Quite nice here. That's per usual with me. I think I've done too much. Never mind. Lurch will eat it all. He's a growing boy. And I've had a taste of this cheese sauce and it's lovely. With kefir. I don't know if we caught any of that. No, we didn't. But there it is. Lurch, mine. Big meal. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. It's a perfect